Alrighty, sorry guys, my my Fortnite kicked me off. Seems to be doing that quite often, I don't know why. But Okay. There's Jaimito. Oh my gosh, my stream kicked me off and it was annoying. What kind of anime ripoff skin is that? It's not an anime ripoff skin. What are you talking about, bro? You got Naruto. That's all you mean. That's all you. You got trash in it. That's what I'm saying, man. Quick to judge. Quick to judge, my friend. Quick to judge. What have you been up to, man? It's like we haven't talked in like a century and a half. <laughs> You're a judgy gamer. Are you though? Are you though? Are you a Jersey gamer? What's up, James? We're doing a little podcast here while I play the game, as I suck at the game, but it's okay. You don't call me no more. You don't call me no more. Oh! I've been sick lately, man. Been sick lately, bro. So, I mean, I haven't really talked to many people. Yes, it is better than stupid. What you been up to, though? Like, keep me updated, man. I puked up Fortnite. <laughs> Chilling at home or what? I mean, my dad for the past week has been gaming a lot. Also, are you an out? Besides work. Bro, you know what sucked really bad was um, so. At my job, I was supposed to throw a, uh, a load, it was a grocery load, 
not a grocery load, a liquor load. And basically, <clears throat> I'm down like what I'm, I'm gonna do like a eight hour shift and I can't do it, you know? Start getting a fever, stomach aches and stuff like that. That's the way to blow through your money, man. Way to blow through your money. But you know, like for some reason, like I went to um, work and then I was feeling like really bad. And, like and so like I was on the floor like doing my job and I just remember having body aches and all that stuff. It sucked. I thought it was COVID again. I thought I got COVID again. But it's weird. I haven't, lately I haven't been feeling too great when I go to work. So, I don't know. It's not a really good sign. But I'm just, like I said, that, that's what I'm going to get into. Like, I'm going to stay prayerful. You know, I'll give a lot of my worries to God and you know, like, anything that tries to get it in my way, I just go and, you know, give it to God. I'm what? Oh my gosh, bro. I suck, man. <laughs> I actually am garbage at this game, all of a sudden. I was doing so good. Better to rest than work, because how you, you're gonna work all... You know, better to chill and such. No, but, um... Garbage, garbage. Yeah, I know. It's because this is the first couple games. But you know what? It's like I found myself feeling a lot sick lately. And I don't know if it's like all the work that I did in the past, what is ca catching up to me, you know, or my, my stomach or whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like it, I feel like it's just all adding up somehow in some way. I feel like it was adding up. And so, you know, it just, it, it all sucks, you know, like you never thought... You know, you can't even, I mean, it went from first, you know, like, first, it was like, I ended up not feeling good one time, and I had to go home early, and it's so weird, because these are like all eight hour shifts that I was doing, you know, and like, when I'm about halfway in, and I start feeling like these chest pains, esophagus pain, and all that stuff. And so, you know, I ended up going to the hospital, I stayed at the hospital, I got medication, and then the next day, the following day, I, um, what's it called, I had to stay home because it was like I was weak, my body was weak. So then, you know, time goes by, time goes by, you know, things are okay, and then, you know, <clears throat> I ended up doing things were okay, working my, my time, and then I ended up getting sick again, and then I had to call out again, and then I went back to work, and this is when, like, about a week later, you know, or, uh, actually a couple days later, not a week later, um, I was, I, I couldn't, I had to call out of work because uh, my girlfriend, you know, she, she wasn't doing good either. So I lost another day of work. And then the following day after that, I was working, did about a nine hour shift. That was okay. And then next thing you know, like, another day happened, another day happened, and then boom, I'm out again body aches like I was like and I you know what sucks is I was I was you know I met like the whole um, liquor team that was um, 
like the vendors that was gonna help me throw the load and everything like that you know all that stuff but you know it's just so weird because all of a sudden life hits you life hits you just at the most randomest times hits you at the most randomest times but you know what you gotta stay thankful and you know what like and I remember like me owning <laughs> Bunch, man. Oh, great. It's like whenever I stream, that's when I start sucking at the game. Ooh, he's coming on the house campfire. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh my goodness. And you know, so the prayers help, man. You know, like prayers do help. They do work. You just gotta stay. You gotta stay, um. What's it called? You gotta stay. Seriously, man? Oh my gosh, bro. What is up with this game? YouTube was Resident Evil 2 remake. That was fun. See, I don't stream much anymore. Ugh. I don't really stream much anymore, but I wanted to start getting back in the stream. Streaming zone. So I'm just kind of rusty right now. I have, you know, for some reason, whenever I stream, I do really bad. Um, but, this is cool. I mean, like I said, I'm, like, took in medica medicine. Alright. Alright, now we for sure are gonna go sweaty, guys. We're for sure gonna go sweaty. But, you know what I mean, like, and then I, you know, like, I started overthinking, like, oh, maybe I'm gonna get sick again if I go to work, and, you know, you know, I started thinking, I'm like, oh, great, I'm gonna get sick again, you know, when I go back, so, you know, I have, like I said, I have to, you know, it's been a whole, whole journey of just nonsense throughout this year you know being like constantly sick and it's a struggle because you know like my you know it's yeah it's just a, just a struggle but now i'm out for like five days and i may be out for a little bit more if i still don't feel good but, I don't know. It probably is all the stress. All I know is that, like, it's no fun. That's true. I can't, I can't put it, put it out like that. You know? It's like... Catching your chickens before they hatch, kind of thing. I mean, did you see that David got COVID? It's crazy, man. Poor guy, man. A bunch of people are getting COVID now. It's going rampant. Go. Now that you have Jesus in your life, that's a trial and tribulations will succeed in more. Yeah, that's true. 
I think I found myself, you know, having difficult times without, you know, like when God is not, you know, or when, I'm sorry, when I'm not present with, like, nah, how do I put this, sorry, um, when I'm not, I guess, like, putting as much effort as I should be putting. Where did it go? What the heck? Eat you up because... See that person right over there? You know what? That's it. I'm going sweaty mode. Finally! Let's go! Finally I got something. For a second I thought I was gonna... Not get anything. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I realize a lot of these guns have a lot of recoil on them. But I appreciate you, James, a lot. And, um... You know, like... Showing me the church and everything like that. Like, that's been a big help. You know, and... Like, especially with my anxiety, like... You know, we all go through anxiety, we go through depression, we all go through that in life, but, you know, I, I just appreciate that you showed me that, you know, and I can, I, you know, I consider you as family, you know, I'm really glad that we were able to meet, you know, and, This is good, my friend. Very good. Very, very good. It's the chug, the chug, um, chug cannon heals you up. When you fear and have fears that it's with. And it comes all on you because you're not focused on Jesus and we're in bread of life. Exactly. You said it, man. You said it all. It's all about it's all about giving your life to God, you know. Sorry guys, but I just had to intervene right there. Pop out of the car. That's what I thought, bro. Didn't want to pop out of that car. It was Jesus that put us together. This, the Lord and Savior, that's what shines the most to bring me today. To bring you out of darkness. That is true. So true, man. When you're going through a super dark time in your life, you know, and like I could tell you this, I remember when I was at my like lowest, and you know I'm gonna start doing this guys more often. I'm gonna start doing like little podcasts, 
you know, if you guys have any questions or anything, comments about, you know, anything, you know, feel free to ask me, or some suggestions that you would give me. Uh, let's see, just keep trusting and take me in the just being your spiritual. It will heal your mind and soul and it will rebuke. That is true. Well, for a second I thought that was a helicopter, but I thought they got rid of the helicopters in the game. Yeah, but I'm just grateful that I have God in my life, you know, and he's given me that strength, that courage, you know, and, like, I see, like, people's transformations, you know, it's so real. Like, these transformations that we've seen, um, it's, like, it's cool. You know what I mean? Like, from people being in the darkness to, like, people being, like, the happiest people in the world, you know? And that's what's so awesome, is that it's, it's a miracle. true I mean and watching those videos that you sent me also helped me you know because I feel like when people pick up the, the Bible there's just so much to it you know what I mean and it's that's a good thing but when when you have so much knowledge and you don't know where to I mean when you have so much information sometimes that you you know you're so unfamiliar about at, in the beginning you know you don't know how to you don't know how to understand it, so it's always good to have somebody that does understand the Bible to help you out with further, um, with further teachings, you know? And so, like... I always take it as a blessing to be able to, and especially when I'm doing like, um, different, um, things like the sermons and stuff like that, you know, it, it, it all gives you that, that thing of like, okay, you know, there's so much to it, you know what I mean? And it's, it's a blessing and I feel like, you know, when you when you watch it, it, give, it enriches you with that, you know, so, I don't know, that's some stuff that also gives me kind of hope, and, is that it, he enriches, you know, God enriches you, so many ways. funny how Hymane leaves right when I'm actually doing good. But then when he joins, it's like all of a sudden it just goes haywire. It's funny how you... Did it very well. You know, and I gotta say, I I have learned a lot 
from Pastor Mark and you and other people in regards to the stuff that's super important, you know what I mean? Just you. But it was, you know, it was also God Himself, you know what I mean? It was God Himself, you know? So close. I appreciate that, James, a lot for being that you know, and everything you do Seriously? Did you see that, bro? How did he hit me that good? Just needs to hurry up. I'm not healing fast enough. start running once it gets closer to the end point like about 10 seconds in So nervous. 
nerve-wracking. Circle be more closer to this. Yes, it's fine. Bring it down. Kidding me? How did he laser me like that? <sighs> That's what I don't get, man. I don't get that at all. I do not get that at all. That does not make any sense. That chug splash thing takes too long to heal you. I came to realization that's just no good. If there's anyone out there that has an anxiety free of intrusive thoughts, get to know one of the other. Pray with one another, get to know God. That's awesome, yeah. Get to know God and pray, you know. And continue to love and be there for one another when, you know, when you feel like there's nobody out there in the world, you know, there's people that go through the same problems, the same things that, you know, we thought never would, that thought maybe we didn't even know if we were going to have these thoughts or these problems or these anxieties or this, whatever you call it, but, you know, um, God gives us that hope, he's that light that shines in our hearts. And anyways, guys, we're going to take a 10-minute break, so I'm going to go ahead and end this stream right here. Um, but um, I may or may not come back on. Um, I'll let you guys know. But thank you guys so much for watching the stream. I know this kind of is a short stream, um, but uh, I'll let you guys know. And thank you guys so much for watching. And take care.